I'm Adrian Kennard from Andrews and Arnold and this is another 3D printing video and I wanted to explain the difference between a couple of different printing materials. Now one of them is this, uh, it's PLA PHA, I'm not sure what the PHA stands for, PLA is polylactic acid and this is a reel from Colorfab who are one of the manufacturers of PLA. PLA is available from a lot of different manufacturers. It's biodegradable, it's made from renewable resources, it's easy to print. It's pretty much the default for printing anything 3D. So this is Colorfab PLA PHA. The other is something new from Colorfab called NGEN. Colorfab NGEN. Again, it's available in lots of different colors, uh, both PLA and NGEN in a wide variety of different colors, uh, some translucent colors, transparent, clear, and so on. And they have very different properties. The NGEN is a co-polyester and it's, it's more brittle. So one of the problems with printing with PLA, even on a heated bed, is that the surface of the object can curl up. All to do with temperature stability. I've got here Thor's hammer. And you can see on here that around the edges, it's curled up a little from the base. And so what you've got is a very slightly distorted and warped edge there, just a little bit. This is fairly typical for PLA. So what I did is I printed something quite large and difficult to print in PLA. This is a handle for our fridge. Um, it actually, as a screw goes in there, that pulls back and that actually pulls back on the little magnetic seal to crack the seal to make it easy to open the fridge. So um, basically our fridge handle broke, printed one of these, years ago. I've had to reprint it once because we managed to break it again, but it works quite well. Unfortunately, it is a bit distorted. As you can see, it definitely pulled away from the bed here. That's somewhat distorted and it's not really printed that well, even along that edge there where it's close to the base. It's fairly typical for PLA and in this case that didn't stop it working, it was fine. If you're printing something large in PLA, even with a hotbed, it can warp. So I printed the same thing in NGEN. A little bit of trouble with the brim sticking to it, which was an easy job to remove. This isn't perfect. The, I find the NGEN a little bit stickier. It's, you end up with um, sort of bits of plastic dragging around the bed as you're printing at the start, which can be a slight problem. And it is more brittle. I suspect um, this could snap more easily. I might need to design it slightly better to cater for that. But the printing, even on a large piece like this, has worked much better. I shall see if we compare the two. So this is the PLA, and this is the engine. And as you can see, it's not warped or curled up at all. So the temperature stability on this is really good. And even along that curved bit there, which went horribly wrong on the PLA, it's just way better. So I'm still having slight trouble with the bridging on the engine, printing over an open area. The data sheet seems to suggest it's good at that, but I can't get the settings right for Simplify 3D. I'm, I'm close. But um, it does seem to be much better, for, especially for large jobs where you don't want it warping. So slightly more brittle, but very strong and hard. So you've got two different materials which suit different jobs, but I think this is probably the winner in most cases.